What's good, Geezer Gang? We are coming to you live, but not live from behind a microphone. We just wanted to share with you this video, as many of you requested, about our daily routine, our morning routine. So we wanted to show you exactly how we start the day. So normally we wake up around 7 a.m. We don't normally have a camera in our face, but we wake up at this time quite naturally. We don't use an alarm. We just find it's important to start the day and ease into the day. Our older kids, Sam and Jamie, will be off to work in the morning and then Jojo will come and join us and we'll just rest in bed for a bit, just wake up slowly, have a drink, maybe water or some sort of fruit or herbal tea, just to take our time waking ourselves up. The start to the day is really important for us. It really sets up the day and sets the tone for the day. So what we tend to do is just rest in bed for a bit, talk about what we're thankful for, what we're grateful for in life. And that really sets a good mood for the day. And then when he says he's ready, we'll start off with Jojo's learning. So on this occasion, he wanted to do some reading first. So we stayed in bed, we did some reading. He's reading Harry Potter at the moment, but normally he chooses his books. He really enjoys reading. So he chooses as well how much he reads, which tends to be really quite a lot. Then as on this occasion, I'm the one doing the reading with Jojo. Katie will get up. She'll go and check on Kat Samir and her babies, make sure they're comfy, just give her some attention. And then set up for the day with our yoga. That's how we like to start the day. So she'll get the yoga mats out, make sure the room's nice and clear. So normally next, while we do yoga, Jojo would play with some toys, but on this occasion, he wanted to do more learning. So he set up the front room, closed the door, showed that it was learning time. And while we were doing yoga, he started to do some maths. He doesn't always do maths while we do yoga, but sometimes it might be writing, sometimes he might want to do more reading, but at the moment he's really enjoying doing addition, so that's what he's been working on. He's been really enthusiastic about doing more and more addition. And for us, yoga is a really important start to the day. It really releases a lot of energy and he tightens up muscles and just loosens the body a lot. And Jojo himself really likes getting involved. He might sometimes copy what we're doing. He might adjust our moves or there are other occasions where he actually starts leading and doing his own moves as well, which we just follow along. So once yoga is finished, we'll start looking at making breakfast. We'll get the distiller on. I tend to then get on my laptop and start my work. I always do ethics emails straight away and other ethics duties and Katie will start making juices. That's become our go-to thing for the morning straight away now. And even Jojo enjoys getting involved in making the juice. Sometimes he enjoys it too much to the point that he'll start eating the oranges as we're making the juice. But in general, we'll have oranges, lemons, maybe grapefruit in there mixed with super green powders. So it works out to be a really healthy, energizing drink to start the day off before breakfast. Meanwhile, I continue with my work. Jojo will maybe play like with Lego or something. And after a bit, he'll get hungry and then we'll make it porridge with him. And I'll take this opportunity while he's content to then have a shower, just to freshen up after yoga, after getting my initial things out of the way. And then I'll continue with my work. Mostly I'll be doing more stuff to do with ethics or maybe I'll be working on talks or finishing off an edit or any other projects. And then after Jojo's finished his breakfast, he'll get on to rinsing his mouth, brushing his teeth, getting his face cleaned, and then he'll get dressed. Now in the mornings in general, there's always a freedom for him to play whenever he wants, which works when I'm trying to get my work done. But we'll always get a bit of reading, writing and maths done every single morning. But one thing he's really enjoyed doing as well, he's learning Spanish at the same time. So he will sit down with Katie, he will go through uh, different Spanish phrases and different things he's learning at the moment. And he really enjoys it and tends to come running back to me to tell me exactly what he's learnt and tell me it in Spanish. And at the moment for practicing his writing, he's been writing a story for a number of weeks now he's been writing lots and lots of pages drawing pictures coming out of different ideas and it's helping build his creativity and build his writing as well but he's very strict on us not seeing any part of this story while he's writing it but he does reveal it at the end and we read it back together and it's really good that he's using his creativity in this way so for us, the reading, writing, Spanish and maths, they're the main things to cross off. And we do things additionally if he requests them, like this morning he requested that we did some more maths but using the big board. And then he decided that he wanted to teach Aragog some maths as well, so we let him roll with that. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it and go to the Giza family if you want to watch more. And if you're new to this channel, hit the red subscribe button and also we're gonna go out and have some fun now and i'll see you all later bye